facts on it. So this is where vegans and vegetarians tend to get low on their meat, or if you just don't eat very much red meat, you may get low on protein, iron and zinc, vitamin B12, calcium, and essential fatty acids. Much of America is low on calcium, not even just those who don't eat meat. However, meat strangely enough, is the perfect source for all of these things here. Protein, iron, zinc, vitamin B12, calcium, essential fatty acids. If you go get yourself a nice red steak, um, you will be filling yourself with all of those nutrients that you see right there. So, um, you know, it does not hurt yourself as we used to believe to have a steak or red meat every once in a while. In fact, I eat steak every single day. My blood markers are better than they have ever been. My cholesterol is great. My triglycerides, everything, my blood sugar is all perfect. So meat has not negatively contributed to that. And in fact, I've seen some of my vegan friends who have gone vegan for so long and then later on seen that they were nutritional deficient as well. And I have also seen that with clients and people I've interacted with in the past. People who have just gone vegan typically will say, I feel amazing. I feel, oops, wrong one. I feel great. But what they didn't tell you is that they got rid of all the other bullshit and processed food they were eating. So, of course, they feel good. But meat got a bad rap on that because they're like, well, I got rid of meat too, so it must be the thing that's making me feel terrible. And then meat got a bad name. And it's very easy to have emotional negativity tied to meat when you're saying, oh, the animals are suffering and stuff like that. It's very easy to tie emotion to it. But the fact is, is that man has been around for millions of years and we've been hunting and eating meat. And it is an essential part of our gut biome and our body and how we process foods. We have digestive enzymes for this meat. Our body was designed to eat this meat. And not only that, men are like programmed to hunt it. So it's there's an innate instinctual nature that we're denying here i'm not saying that you have to go slaughter cows or be a horrible person all i'm saying is that you're missing out on some of these uh, these nutritional goods here you can replace them obviously you see here we have all these different things that you can eat instead however if you just eat a steak you're getting all of that in one go and it's like a super shot i do respect your opinions if you if you do want to be a vegan or vegetarian based upon uh, the principles behind it but if it's just nutritional reasons that you're avoiding meat and it's because the doctor said that cholesterol is bad for you and meat's going to cause a heart attack well that's just false there is a lot of evidence now showing that those studies have been retracted and that the association between cholesterol and heart attack is actually false and that cholesterol can actually be good for you it's all about ratios and what kinds of cholesterol so meat actually perform, performs well in terms of fats and cholesterol in terms of giving you good HDL and healthy fats. Also notice here it's loaded with heme iron, B12, zinc, magnesium, creatine, and other healthy fats. This is the vertical diet uh, I follow from Stan Efferding. I borrowed some of the stuff from here. He is the world's strongest bodybuilder, but he also is very intelligent in the sense that he interviews and studies under a wide array of nutritional experts and does not just stick with one niche. So I really respect what he's doing out with his program and this is his program but the reason why i wanted to show this program is just to show look the bottom here these are all micronutrients this is basically what you would eat if you were a vegan or a vegetarian and i have no problem with it you know this is exactly what we should be eating this is natural food this is real food i'm for it i'm on team vegan and vegetarian as long as you're just eating some meat <laughs> you know <clears throat> you put in a little bit of bison meat a new york strip and then you have a much heartier source of protein, vitamin, zinc, all of that, uh, by, you know, creatine. And these deficiencies can cause depression. They can cause mental disorders. They can cause anxiety. They can cause you to go into a bipolarity. Um, you can go into a funk. You can get iron deficiencies. You can get menstruation uh, cycles being thrown off. There are so many. Your body temperature can get decreased because you're not getting enough fruits and vegetables. Uh, your liver can get overtaxed. Your insulin, your blood sugar, like your pancreas can get overtaxed if you're not eating healthy foods like this, but instead eating garbage. There is so many reasons why it is healthier to eat vegan and vegetarian as long as you're adding in the meat. <laughs> you right? We put these teams things. It has to be left versus right. I'm like you know I'm a leftist or I'm a rightist. I'm a conservative. Or I'm a liberal. We have to do and people love to do that with food, and really like the vegans and the vegetarians and the meat eaters if they were just on the same team a little bit more. Uh, you know, the meat eaters could be more ethical about how they do things with animals, but then also the vegans and vegetarians don't have to die lonely and weak. <laughs>
<laughs> Just kidding to my vegan and vegetarian friends out there. That was a joke. You can live a relatively healthy lifestyle being vegan and vegetarian. I'm just saying, if you've got oct high octane fuel available to you, why are you avoiding it? Um, especially because it's not causing any harm. Okay, moving on over to the habit roll call of the day, everybody. Let's get those habits checked in. If you are eating meat, or if you were a vegan, but you've formerly were a vegan, and then you've you've renounced yourself and said, hey, I'm back on the meat train, let me know. Moving over to the habit roll call. The world famous habit roll call. More. Killed it. Killed it. That's right. That's what we are doing here is we are smashing sugar cravings out the park. Thank you, Miss Evelyn, for being a great example for that. Jonathan Hernandez checked in, got my yoga in today, and my modified home workout. The gym by my place isn't open yet, so I have to wait until next month. I felt sluggish today, but maybe just coming down for a moment, uh, momentous high, feeling a little burnt out, but I think by Friday I'll have less on my plate. Oof. Rough. Jonathan, we hope you're staying well. I know traveling can be pretty taxing. Make sure you're upping your electrolytes, getting in that rest. You're stressing yourself out when you travel can make you ill. Iggy, getting all stretched and ready for pull-ups and deadlifts. Goal is 10 miles on the bike today, as well as some squats and arm work, followed by a massage. Boom. Taking care of himself, getting the whole total package done. Proud of you there, Iggy. Thank you for checking in with us on that. Looking forward to seeing your deadlifts continue to progress uh, getting to those exciting zones where you're starting to get into more weight. Evelyn Price, good morning. 20 days no sugar, but she's now on 21. She's made it a habit, by the way. Tried the sugar-free pudding, she said, and it was tasty, but she wanted she needed to freeze it just a little bit longer. Iggy got it in. Did I read that off? He's on two different ones here. Got it all in. 16 deadlifts, 15 pull-ups, 10.9. Oh, he was saying he was going to do it, and then he came back and then did it. So another one for you there. A little bit of a hip-hop <laughs> shout-out. Did squats and some arms and looking forward to the rest on Tuesday. Tracy Warner Hawkman. Day 22. Walked for 30 minutes at a faster pace. I did meal prep until Wednesday. I did wash all the fruits and veggies for the work. Beautiful. That's the that's the move, right? Taking some small actions ahead of time to let you know that that is what you're going to do. So the littlest commitments ahead of time help create bigger commitments later. Something to reinforce to yourself when it comes to diet and exercise. If you put off everything till later, it's going to continue to be later. But if you start with the tiniest things now, it's easier to get the ball rolling on the bigger stuff for later. Sammy, day eight. Thank you for coming back, Sammy. 27, banded shoulder retractions, pec stretches, quick two-mile jog with the pup, chest and back day. It's also day one of the 60-day fitness challenge, so that means my diet started today. Beautiful. I would love to know what you want to stay accountable to, Sammy, on the diet. How about we talk about that? Boom. Tell me more. Whoops. Wrong one. Trying to go back to my charts. There we go. We're back. Mike Wassman, day 89 of meditation and day 12 of PT. Mr. Mike Wassman, let me know if that PT is helping. Samantha White, 17 minutes of my workout completed. I got my back. I got to get back into the swing of things. Uh-oh. Let's see what's holding you back, Samantha. Is it just all the travel? Let's. Um, I know you're back in town, so hopefully we can get back into that weight training program that we talked about. You've been doing such a good job checking in with your Fitbit as we see some people check in. Using Fitbits, they get into the swing of that, and then it's hard to get something else going. So it's really wise to consider starting very small and then using a system where you're actually checking it off and checking the boxes like our habit calendar the stick to it habit calendar program remember that's how we really stick to things is starting by tracking and checking the boxes like you have a coffee card and when you go buy coffees they punch off the holes you do the same thing for your training program right now as you're making your transition to getting back into it and i promise you samantha it'll be a more comfortable way of getting into it all right all right everybody that's the stick to it momentum morning i gotta go bust out some squats falling a little bit behind and then may have a special surprise for you tomorrow so we'll see all right everybody stick to it to get to it i'm trainer steve i am out